It's no Naruto, but it sure feels like it with all these exposition. The first battle has officially concluded. It was expected to end at the third chapter, knowing Team A plotted to claim victory. When they work together, you can bet on them to succeed. This chapter was enjoyable with the showcase of Class A teamwork with the help of Shinsho to prevail. There's plenty of exposition here for better or worse. I would joke by saying, it must be targeting for kids. But because it is published in Weekly Shonen Jump, the joke is on me. It's just what I thought. There's only one Suyo, while Shinsho and Kaminari are covered by her fluid. That sounds a bit awkward. Out of context speaking that is. Anyway, this technique isn't actually new, rather haven't been shown in visual until now. Now we know all of her tricks. Imagine if a fan being hyped for so long and finally got to see this. That could go's exposition on how this plan could work as explained before. In short, Shishida is trick, and Team B have yet to realize it. That is until Rin noticed the pointer on Shishida, one in which belongs to Kaminari. Before Princess Ibarra grabs a hold of a target, Team A was plotting the next phase to see how they should handle them. Basically, it's a guessing game on who she will grab first. That is until Rin say the worst possible choice is Kaminari. And sure enough, it's him. Oops, Kaminari was about to attack all of them with his lightning until Ibarra uses her religious term attack like Faith Shield. It feels like a long time since I last seen him in action. Shame he got caught and blocked to do anything. But he wasn't done. After exposition of her vines against Electric, he has a trap car in the field. That pointer is his way to send his electricity from the inside as long as he has an open gap and within limited meter range to send. That's a neat feature. Talk about underutilized. Speaking of that, Rin counters that track car by using scales. It's the first time to my knowledge to be introduced to Rin, whose quirk is scales. He can grow tough scales from his body and shoots like projectile. It's pretty basic. I don't expect creativity out of that. Besides, I forgot his name until the explanation panel pops up. Kaminari has failed and everything seems to be on Team B's favor. Or so they thought when Ibarra is caught by Shinsho's brainwash. Kind of funny how she closed the last chapter with her vines only to be taken out first. Granted, she was an obstacle. Just gave me that feeling of an actual bout with Suyu. Anyway, it's a good timing move on Team A because Team B were in a moment of recovery, which allowed Shinsho to blend in with Team Speak. As for Kaminari, it was actually planned for him to be caught on purpose to provide distraction. The exposition for Kaminari's distraction is necessary because it is the defining move that turned the table. Since he was seen as the most troublesome of Team A, he thought it was a good idea to go there and be victimized. It's not just for a distraction for Team B to eye on, but for Ibarra uses her vines mainly on him to lessen the surroundings. This was a good move. Even if he have to play sacrifice, it was worth it. This leaves Team B to lose the communication altogether. Shishida is too conscious of Shinsho's brainwash, so he just point the direction like a dog. Ha! <laughs> I get it. Like I said in my last review, a plan is key to victory, so it's clear that Team A got the momentum. Even with Rin and his scales, it's not going to favor him at all. Suya made sure Ibarra is captured and because Rin is distracted with Shishida's dumbfounded chase, she takes him down. In other words, once the team is disjointed, it's all downhill from there. Shinsho takes the chance to hide and wait for Shishida to arrive. Although Brainwasher is obviously his trademark, he's making a good use of Eraserhead's cloth here by dragging a pipe to land on Shishida's head. The funny yet sensible part is the end, where Rin is flying and yelling Shishida to dodge, but he refused to listen because, once again, paranoid to be the victimized again. What happens instead is a double knockout by bonking heads together. Hey, whatever works, works, right? Team A did a good job working together with effective use of Shinsho outside of his quirk. 
The key is to give them a scare of possible brainwash, especially once Ibarra was caught. It gave them a reason to fear. With Shishida, he was caught before, so this made him see Shinsho as the main threat, which led him to break apart from his team. All in all, a good teamwork prevails, but Shinsho isn't satisfied. Although he and Team A won, he didn't feel good about him relying on others. Way to downplay the victory and moments you shared, guy. I assume his development has to be stalled until the last battle. Sure, this battle could give him a boost in development meter before completion, but it only makes the morale obvious. Basically, the battle is a showcase of Shinsho's ability with untapped potential, assuming to unlock in battle 5. At the very least, we got some joy from this. Overall, I enjoyed this chapter. It provided a nice teamwork from Team A and Shinsho. It's shorter than the usual count, is actually the same length as last time. Much like before, it does deliver a really good artwork with nice details. It makes me wonder if this is a trend for the rest of the arc, or is only these two chapters, which wouldn't surprise me. I'm also wondering what's next in store with the next battle consisting no Shinsho. We'll know soon enough. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. What is in store for the next three battles? Because those three battles don't have Shinsho. Will we actually get a good amount of focus? Or would it just skip ahead to the battle five where the main event with the protagonist? And I guess the antagonist? I can't really say. I mean, yeah, he's going to be in team B, but would that really consider as an antagonist? Uh, who knows? What do you think is going to happen next? Will we actually get to see battle two in the same length or even shorter? Or maybe even longer? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.